Cassie decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. Today we're scamming the scammers. How many times have you seen or heard those ads on the radio that are like, your child can be a Disney Channel star? Today I'm attending one of those auditions. I'm so freaking scared, bro. So if it is actually a scam, little do they know that I'm scamming them for content. Also, today didn't start off on the right foot. My baggy jeans are starting to fit like skinny jeans. Now, I don't know what that means for me, but it needs to stop pronto. So I'm gonna go get my head shot, and we're gonna head out. I'm also gonna try to record on the audition room. Story time. I'm literally in my acting background, so it's really on brand. I was just crying. I'm trying to do this with a smile on my face. Dang. Please. Giving you what you're begging for. Giving you what you're begging for. So stupid. <laughs> Someone flying out of the freaking car. It's literally below freezing and they're like, yes, this is the perfect day to do an audition. Let's like send these kids out into an Arctic tundra. Survival of the fittest. I walk in the door. Tell me why this place is genuinely nice. Think like that Zach and Cody hotel. I was like, do they have hors d'oeuvres here? Like where's the snack table? We're on the second floor now. I don't remember, I don't care. There's a mom like pressuring her son to like memorize his lines. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is really intense, huh? Can I just you study your lines? You will be lucky if your son gets cast as concrete in Sesame Street. So the very nice lady hands me my lines. Um, I look at my script. It's two lines. I have two lines. My whole life been walking around the town telling everyone, yeah, like I'm the main character. Like, yeah, yeah. How am I gonna get cast as an extra at a scam audition? It's not even real. She took one look at me and was like, yes, this is the role for you. Literally two lines. Whatever, I'm in line. I'm like next in line. I'm about to go into the audition room. The family in front of us walks out and it's his dad. He walks out with this like newborn, like not newborn, but like probably just learned how to walk. Dad's got the big a smile on his face walking out. Did he audition for Gerber Baby? Is there a Boss Baby real life production going on? Cause I know I'm not about to be cast as an extra while this guy is walking out with the deal of his life. I walk in, this director is legit. Like, uh, I literally can't tell you who it was because I signed a contract. He literally has worked on, t oh my. But when I walked in, it actually hit me. I was like, I was looking up at him. I was like, oh. I start fixing my posture, I'm like clearing my throat. I'm like getting nervous now, and so I sit down with my mom. This should have been the first red flag. It wasn't a red flag, it was like an orange flag, like a nice cream flag. All the auditions I've been to, they ask you about yourself. I was ready. I was ready to talk about myself. He's like, so mom, tell me about your daughter. So yeah, my mom's like, yeah, so she's like a dancer, she's a model, she does like social media. So what do you do for work? Sorry, is my mom auditioning now? Should I get her headshots out? And it doesn't stop there. My dad didn't come in with us. He goes, so you're single or is her dad? When I tell you I broke my freaking neck. Who's, who's auditioning? auditioning? Who said that? Who said that? Who's so she's like, um, yeah, I'm married actually. And he's like, ah, good. What does your husband do for work? Who is it? Do you want my mom? Do you want my dad? What my parents would be a pleasure to have on set, I'm sure of it. He wants the whole crew. Next time I'll make sure my dad comes in with it. I'll even bring my siblings with me. He was just trying to get a grasp of how much money we make collectively as a family. But that's a little bit invasive, don't you think? Then the time comes, the time comes. So I go up on the stage, it's my big time to shine my two freaking lines. And right away, like right after the script, he pauses. Also, I like did really good by how I knew it was a real audition, the two lines, it was actually to grasp how I would bounce off of him. Because after the script ended, he continued it. And so I had to do improv and I was like, oh, this is real. So he pauses like right after and he's like, you know what? We're actually looking for a lead actress. We're looking for a villain. And then he looked at my headshot. I was like, how did I go from being an extra to the lead actress. It's like, mom, I need you to email me 9 a.m. tomorrow, um, which we end up not doing, because if you if you stay tuned, you'll find out what happened. He starts talking about immediately flying me out to Orlando, Florida to like get me to work with the production team. I was like, hold on, this could be something good. But then I was like, 
Wait, remember what you're here for. It's not real. It's not real. We walk out. He slips us a paper. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is it. This is my big break. It's a million dollar contract. Just sign me up. I'm ready to. So Alana did the audition. She was um, Jasmine. Alana had the audition, right? Alana had the audition. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, so listen. It, she don't know the show, but listen. It, it would it would air. Listen, it would air around Christmas time. Want her um, for a lead role. They want twelve thousand dollars by tomorrow. So how do you want to pay? Yeah, I'm serious. 